Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. My illustrious family. Good morning. Good evening. Oh, a good afternoon. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, you guys. Let me uh, pump out a few videos today. Um, but the first one I wanted to talk about, um, and this is very important because whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, I'll need your opinion about this. Please leave your comments below. I want to encourage y'all, even though I appreciate y'all sending your comments to www. Um, I mean, I appreciate you sending your comments to my uh, um email and that way I want to keep encouraging you to do that and that way I'm able to read the mail out on the page but in the meantime I want to uh, uh, answer a question that a woman uh, asked me and this is regardless of what you think about the gender issue um, and sexuality and irregardless of all that we're going to talk about sex okay um now, if you see me bouncing up and down like this, I'm not fiending, but I am on my bouncing ball. Now, y'all should know that by now. Old girl got to work out these cakes because you know the old gray Mary ain't what she used to be. So, here we go. Um, everybody know that this transgender uh, stuff has really, really got a lot of people confused. I know what my stance is on it, and right now it's not even important. I want to know what you guys think about this very particular, specific question that I'm going to lay on you that somebody laid on me. Transgenders in sports, what do you think about that? Male to female, I mean. Not female to male, male to female. Because y'all get mad a lot of times when I say... Y'all don't get mad, please, because the white men run this. They do what they want to do. Now, listen, how come you never see um, any uh, transgender women to men and them bigging them up or even putting them on anything? You can't tell me there is none. There, there, are, there aren't any, I should say. But that's not the narrative. They want it's white men and they do what they want to do. So now white men want to be women, they get to do that. Um, there's a lot of racism in every aspect of life. So the LGBTQ community is no different. So now when we're dealing with this situation right here, I find it a damn travesty that you can have a transgender male to female. Now, I know y'all a lot of y'all gonna get mad at me, but I don't really give a damn. Okay? Male to female going against female, born gender female athletes. Now, I think that is absolutely insane. I think the transgender women, this is my opinion. So this is why I say y'all can get on me now because this is how I feel it. The gen transgender uh, group needs to have their own leagues, whether it's man to woman, woman to man. Um, I think it's a travesty when you put some damn men who are born a man, a man, in the arena with a woman, and I don't care how strong she is, I don't care how good she has been, she's not nine out of ten times going to beat somebody who was born a damn man. Okay, ninety-nine point nine percent of the time she gonna lose. Y'all know that, so it's totally unfair. If you're putting transgender in w, uh, MMA fighting uh, to fight the women to break their necks, all that stuff, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Because now somebody needs to call in the cavalry to tame this perception of freedom gone mad. Because that's what it is. It's, a this, it's gone mad. Thank you, Brother Gil Scott. It's call in the cavalry. Because there is no way in the world a transgender man should be stepping his butt into a woman's sport. Now he want to play tennis uh, with uh, Venus as Serena. And he's a man. Oh, yeah, you can have some fun games like that if you want to. But just an all-out assault on born gender female athletes 
and to put them in an arena against men. I don't care if you're a transgender, you're still born a man. No, you need a league of your own. Now, I could be wrong because I see a lot of y'all out there looking at me kind of crazy. But give me your opinion. Just like some of y'all got real offended when I, on my video, do you want to vote or do you not want to vote? Uh, to, to vote or not to vote. Now, I had already told you that I voted and that sometimes I told you local voting counts, but I have my reservation. I'm not just going to. My vote means something. I'm not going to just throw it away willy-nilly. If it's not the candidate that I need or I think is going to look out for the best interest of myself and my clan, I'm not going to vote for him or I'm going to write myself in. And I thought I made that perfectly clear. I didn't say anything about voting, period, because I knew, I mean, I didn't say that um, I knew po local politics didn't work because I was involved with putting a person and people in office. I've worked campaigns. I've been there with winners of a campaign, been there election night. So in, in, in terms of what I said, I meant I stand by it 110 percent. And if you want to unfollow me, OK, you ain't got to make no speech. Just go. OK, but for the rest of y'all who understand where I was coming from, I meant it like, um, you know, what do you think about your privilege to vote? Do you think it's so important that now that you can withhold it? As long as we withhold it as a group until somebody starts speaking up, speaking out in our best interest, because that's what I meant. And if I didn't, um, you know, explain that good enough, then I apologize because y'all know sometimes I be bugging. And you got to remember, uh, sometimes the, the the old age uh, creep up. <laughs> I at to get a thought. But other than that, I, I, I stand by what I said. I really do. I think that black people need to start, and I know this is off the task, but we need to start honoring our vote a little bit more. And if somebody is, as a candidate is not going to represent our best interests, is not going to do anything for us as descendants of slaves here um, in northern and wilderness of America, then we got a problem. And I think we got to do something about it. But anyway, y'all give me y'all opinion, opinion on the transgenders in sports. Uh, male to female that is because you don't hear about it the other way around do y'all agree or disagree let me know leave your comments below okay i'll see you in a bit